day, snuggled inside, watching some of my favorites. And I just had to share, you know, you're not feeling great when you just throw on anything. So I've got Super Mario. Look at our Harry, those are pants. <laughs> and winter penguin jammies. Good morning and happy Tuesday. Vlogmas day 19. You guys, I'm still reeling from that Seahawks game, that Monday night football game. Oh my goodness, I am just like, they were so wonderful. That, that play at the end. Seahawk fans like me, we are diehard. We love them whether they win or lose, but when they win like that, we just can't help ourselves. I am just on the verge of a possible cold that has been going around my family. I am trying to stave it off with snuggles. You guys, I went to bed at about 1130 and I woke up at exactly 1130 this morning. So my body needed the rest. My poor dogs, probably about an hour before that, <laughs> I really started hearing them whining and I feel so bad. But anyway, this is going to be a day of rest. I am watching some of my favorite uh, YouTubers today just cutting cut up. I love how everybody um, is doing their vlogmas in one way or the other. Lots, lots to watch. And so I thought I would do another day of sharing with you my next favorites. Now these are folks that I do love their style, their humor. There's just so much good stuff that I learned. You know, these are ones that I don't know. The first top 10 I did was definitely all folks that I knew were believers because they shared their faith openly on their channels. These guys, I don't know for sure because that's not something that they do. But, and I just highly recommend again, if you are someone like me, who loves to thrift, to resell, to fix up things, um, you wanna have a booth or anything like, this is the group to watch. It's amazing designers, decorators, and just all around cool people. So I hope you enjoy. This first one is actually one of my most recent finds. She was actually recommended by Harry Tornado that I featured last week. She is a lovely gal who has a booth in one of the largest vintage malls in the country. This next adorable couple are from Wales and they bought an old campground, tore down all the old campers and are building their dream home on the property. They are sweet, smart, and so fun to watch. Alicia English started out her YouTube channel doing all sorts of crafts and she still does. But a couple years ago, they bought an old house sight unseen, moved across the country up in Canada and have been featuring all their home improvements. This fun gal is Kelly and along with her quirky friends, she vintage shops, she crafts and she shows us how she styles her own little shop. Another one of my long time watches, I actually caught their very first video back in 2020 and they are an adorable couple who has spent the last three years growing their business from furniture flipping to having their own store. Julie is certainly one of my favorites that I've been watching from the beginning and she is so crafty, clever and she has gotten into thrifting as you can see. She has two channels now and I just absolutely adore her and her very fun and cute family. 
This is Karen from Lavender Clothesline. She is a new find as well. She's a lovely lady about my age who is a full-time thrifter and reseller on eBay. She finds some amazing things along with her thrifting husband. This adorable couple sold their home in Florida, bought a container and built themselves a home on her grandfather's property. They are adorable and since then have had two kids and have one more on the way. They are fun to watch as he has become a master carpenter. This is Drew and he is fantastic. Now, I found him and shortly thereafter discovered his dear friend who will be my number one on this list. He is a great designer has his own shop where he uh, sells vintage, curated, very cool things. Everyone knows George the Antique Nomad. This is the most knowledgeable man I have ever seen. He is all about antiques and vintage and knows so much. He is just a wealth of knowledge. And it's kind of fun because he calls Spokane home, at least sometimes. Kayla, the homeschooling picker, is also one of my favorites. I have been watching her for the last three plus years and she has been going through it. But I'm so happy to say that she looks like she's found love in another picker called the Part-Time Pickers. So check both of them out. Erin from the Provincial Farmhouse is out of Australia so she has a sweet Australian accent and she is so talented and so creative. I absolutely love watching her take plain objects that she has thrifted and turn them into masterpieces. Another relatively newbie on my list is Misty, the thrifter junker vintage hunter. Now she has been around for a while and she is quirky and cute and fun and all about vintage. She has some of the most amazing vintage finds and collections. She sells on a lot of different platforms, including her newest one, the Antique Marketplace. Be sure to check them both out. Tiffany is another fun one to watch thrift. She goes mostly to Goodwill, but she's also been seen at flea markets and other types of thrift stores. She shows you what's valuable and tells you how much she's going to ask for it. And my number one is Exo McKenna. Again, she was one I found around the time that I was at home feeling lonely and this girl has become one of my favorites and I feel like we could be best friends. She also has a vlog channel where she's currently doing a vlogmas. If you are looking for someone with amazing style and just a great, fun, kind personality, McKenna is your girl. So thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed checking out some of my favorite influencers on YouTube. I didn't really have any interest in YouTube until just a few years ago. And literally it was during the pandemic. Um, you know, you kind of run out of shows to watch and, and that kind of thing. I was at home. I was not working. Thankfully at the time, the boyfriend I was with did um, have an essential job. So he did keep working and supporting us. So that was wonderful. But um, I just discovered so many amazing influences and during that time in uh, around November of 2020 is when I originally launched my YouTube channel. And unfortunately, shortly thereafter, my mom passed. And I just kind of went through a period of just, I don't know, I just didn't have a lot of energy and hope. I really did go through depression. I really did not turn to God. I kind of turned away. I was very angry and sad. And, you know, my relationship was just really not good and hadn't been for a while, even though I kept trying. 
And so, you know, I really value these folks that I shared last week as well as these ones today because they really got me through a hard time. They really did. And, and some of them I truly feel like are my friends, you know, and I may never meet them in real life, but I sure have come become um, great fans and truly do love them in the virtual world. And as you go about your day, keep looking up.